afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And guys, I'm going to show you probably the craziest, wildest trailer I've ever seen in, 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 in all the years I've been doing this, guys. And, um, and probably one of the wildest trailers you've ever seen. Uh, this is a 2021 used Jayco Eagle. Guys, this is a very, very high-end travel trailer. The model number is a 332 CBOK. Guys, this is a triple slide, basically a luxury fifth wheel on a travel trailer frame. Uh, that's, uh, I, I don't know any other way of saying it. Uh, this unit brand new, MSRP last year, 75 grand. NADA retail, no added options, is still over sixty thousand. I'm selling it under low retail at forty nine nine. And yes, guys, I said the same thing when I heard about this thing coming in forty nine nine for a used travel trailer. Wow. But also when I saw it, I see where the value's at, and I see where there can be a market for this. And guys, this is. For those of you who are looking for something in this price range or maybe looking for at one of these brand new, going to spend 75, 80 grand, this is going to save you a lot of money. Or for those of you that just wants the best used travel trailer money can buy, this is it. 2021 Jayco Eagle 332 Seabock. I kind of made that name up. <laughs> Triple slide. And guys, and I'm going to try to go over everything this unit has. I may not hit everything. I'll do the best I can. Uh, it is 40 feet long. Three slides. Dry weight, 10,980, say 11,000 pounds. Double axle. It has auto level system, just like a Class A motorhome has. Power tongue jack, dual power awnings, 50 amp electrical service, double 15,000 BTU ducted roof airs. Four Seasons Climate Guard. It is insulated for year-round use. It's got enclosed heated, enclosed underbelly. It is zero degree tested and even tested at 100 degrees and it maintains right around 68 to 70 degree average temperature even at the holding tanks. Outside cook kitchen with an actual grill and I like this. Not a griddle, not a cook, not, a, not just a stove eye but an actual grill, electric refrigerator, television, LED lights, and everything folds up out of the way. Plug-ins for additional um, for additional appliances or whatever you want to put out here. Dexter axles, the only the very best. Power awnings. 75 grand brand new. And guys, this thing is virtually spotless for a, 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 at least as far as a used travel trailer is concerned. The only way you're going to get one nicer is to buy a brand new and spend another 25 to 30 grand plus fees that we don't charge. And um, we'll get around and I'll, uh, and I'll flash you in a DF when we get around. 50 amp electrical service, uh, DSI gas electric water heater does have a 1200 watt inverter built in power tongue jack got a large tray on the front so you can put batteries it does have the solar prep package ground control you can actually control your leveling system from your power jack i, I forgot to turn them on but you do have the led uh, lights on the front Got a high pressure spray port for rinsing off everything. Got some outdoor plug-ins. Wow. Guys, Jayco has got one of the largest or one of the strongest roof systems in the industry in a travel trailer. You know this, they call it the Magnum Trust system. It has a weight capacity of not 450 pounds but up to 400 or, or 4,500 pounds in critical locations. Massive uh, roof system. Now guys, I'm going to flash NADA up real quick. Hang on one second.
Now you can see guys, I'm selling it for actually right at low retail book with no added options. Even though the, the, the automatic level up, the second AC, the inverter, the uh, refrigerator that's in it is an option, I'm not adding for it. Let's look inside. And it's also got the LED lights underneath it too. You just can't see them right now because it's daytime. Let's look inside. And you're about to see the dangest camper you've ever seen in your life. I mean, wow. I mean, <laughs> this is just one of those campers. You need, let me, let me tell you something guys. When you, got, when you step into this camper, you need to take a pen and write on the palm of your hand, this is a travel trailer. And you need to keep looking at the palm of your hand while you're walking through this camper to remind yourself, this is a travel trailer. Look at this thing, guys. Rear kitchen. Incredible, incredible. Wood table. Wood, uh, wood top island. Corian countertop, solid surface countertops, look like marble. You've got twin 15,000 BTU whisper quiet airs with uh, Jayco's patented Helix uh, duct system. So this thing really cools your camper off in a hurry. A 21 cubic foot whirlpool. Look how new this thing is, guys. Well, this fridge doesn't look like it's ever had anything in it. It's still got the paperwork in it. Built-in indoor ice maker. Already getting cold. Dang. This is incredible fifth, uh, fifth wheel. <laughs> incredible travel trailer. And guys, I know 11,000 pounds sounds heavy for a travel trailer, but look at it this way. If this was a triple slide, 40 foot, four seasons, fifth wheel, it would be another two, three, 4,000 pounds. It would be 13 to 15,000 pounds. So you're actually towing a lot less weight because this is a travel trailer versus a fifth wheel because it's not so tall. So that's something else to consider for those of you with a, like a 250 truck or something like that. You don't want to max out your truck. Theater seating with heated massaging seats, power recliners, uh, tri-fold uh, sleeper sofa. I love the lights in here, all LED lights, seven foot tall ceilings. Three uh, burner cooktop with the uh, cast iron grates. Oven, doesn't look like it's ever been used like the rest of the camper. <laughs> You do have, let's see here, how this thing opens here. Microwave. Pantry. There's all your books and manuals. Got motion detection on a lot. Large television with a large fireplace that doubles as an electric heater. Beautiful handcrafted cabinets. You've got all your controls right here, all your lights. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead because it's starting to get windy out there and bring the awnings in because um, I don't wanna be filming and wind come up and, and rip an awning or something. This is how easy it is to put the awnings up. Now, this is what I love about power awnings because you know, anytime you go to bed and you leave your awnings out, sure enough, a storm's gonna come up in the middle of the night. You get up, you're in your bed clothes, you gotta get, you know, or however you sleep, and you don't wanna have to get dressed to go outside and get soaked to put your awning up. So this way, all you gotta do is go right here, push your button until it comes in, and you never have to set foot outside your camper. So that one's up. And here is the second awning. A little windy outside, so it's operating a little bit slower. And also from right here, you can uh, extend retractor slide outs, change the temperature in here and do everything else. So that's pretty cool. Lights, 
tank monitors, everything. So slide outs, really easy to use. You can control, you can turn the lights off and on with these, just the four light buttons, one for each zone. So like if you want to turn all the lights off, you just hit these four buttons right here, turns all the lights off. Let's walk toward the front and you've got a huge bathroom in this and a beautiful bathroom. I don't really say that much about bathrooms, but uh, of course you've got the enamel porcelain RV toilet. I mean, this bathroom is about as big as the one in my bedroom at home. Uh, sink, vanity area, LED accent lights everywhere. Five foot wide shower, huge monster shower residential size shower, skylight, vortex, uh, exhaust fan. I mean, notice the, even the uh, wall paneling, real nice. Wow. <laughs> you know, I know this is crazy, a $50,000 used camper, but this is a crazy camper. <laughs> now, one thing I want to point out, First of all, this is a huge monster bedroom. The previous owners took the king bed out and put a queen size mattress in. Now I am putting a brand new king mattress back in here, guys. People do this, and this is not the first time I have seen this. I had some folks about three or four weeks ago buy a fifth wheel, and that was uh, we had to remove the king mattress so they could put a queen in because they were used to sweeping, sleeping on a queen together and that's what they wanted. They did not want a king size mattress in their, in their fifth wheel. And this, I've ran across that many times over the years in the RV business. So that's nothing, actually nothing very unusual at all to take and put a smaller mattress where a larger one was. So I am going to take the queen mattress out and put a king size in here like it's supposed to be so it will have a king size bed but it's a queen just happens to be queen at the very moment but it will be a brand new mattress never slept on very comfortable um huge closet now it does not have wash and dryer hookup so it's not a destination trailer or nothing like that it's a regular travel trailer so it does not have well let me wait a minute before i let me look in this main closet first uh make sure there's not hookups before i just can say that with absolute certainty no it doesn't have wash and dryer hookups so this is a regular travel trailer but dang this is a huge bedroom 32 inch tv in the bedroom most of the lights are on dimmer so you don't you can have i've got them on full blast but you can adjust them how you want to wow Guys, this is just one of those campers that you have to see to believe. And I hope I'm doing this just, justice on camera. Um, but 49.9 for a 21 uh, Jayco Eagle 332 uh, while it lasts. And triple slide, absolutely spotless. Does it even look like it's hardly been used? I'm sure it has been used because obviously they changed the mattress out. I don't think they would have changed the mattress out never slept in it. But if I still had all the uh, display stickers and tags that hang on all the new campers, you would have thought this is a brand new 2022 for about 30 grand off. That's how nice it is. Oh, I love these seats. Especially they're heated and massaging. They feel great. Should turn the TV on. I didn't think about it. Got USB chargers built throughout the entire RV. Um, wow. I love the whitewash uh, wood in here in these cabinets and how they transition to a darker cabinets the further back you go. I like it, guys. And, and you know, and I know I've, I've really bashed newer campers, but again, this isn't your average newer camper. I mean, uh, if all newer campers are built like this, then I would change my tune about newer campers, but they're not. You know, this is not something that, you know, a $75,000 new camper is not something the average RV shopper is going to buy. 
I mean, they're looking at the cheap stuff, you know, 30 grand, 35 grand, 40 grand campers. Um, so obviously this thing is, is built very, very nice. And it's, and what I like about this is used. So it's, it's new enough that you shouldn't have any problems, but it's old enough and used enough that they've worked the bugs out. And of course we guarantee all the slide outs to work. We guarantee the water systems to work. We guarantee both roof airs to get cold. Refrigerator, freezer to get cold inside and out. We guarantee, y'all saw the awnings, they work. Uh, we guarantee the um, steps to work. So all that stuff that we guarantee is, is it works. Besides checking the water system, which includes water heater and water pump. And of course, I've checked out many other systems in this thing as well, and I haven't found anything that doesn't work yet. Fireplace works, all the lights work. Guys, this thing's pretty much ready to go. <coughs> of course, you know, I want you to come up and we'll hook it to shore power, hook a big generator to it, let you do your own inspection of it, and you're welcome to hire a third party inspection service. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind uh, an RV inspector te would tell you you're crazy to. Uh, turn this one down because you, you have to buy a brand new one to get one nicer so your ten over ten thousand dollars back of base in ADA retail I should be selling this thing for quite a bit more because it's got several thousand dollars worth of options they you're basically getting for free the auto level which is a very expensive option the second AC that refrigerator over the RV refrigerator with the built-in inverter is an expensive option it's got it Man. you never know what you're going to see on my channel guys and guys i know again i'm not look i know not not many people can afford 50 grand for a used trailer i get that i try to carry a little bit you know just yesterday i did a camper for 15.9 so i do get a variety of price ranges which unfortunately is going to include on the lower end of the spectrum and the higher end of the spectrum I've only done one of the camper that was this expensive. It was that custom uh, uh, movie star trailer that I did a few years ago. Some of y'all may remember. That's been a long time subscribers. Um, which was a very nice camper in itself. But this is definitely nicer and newer. It's a great value because it's something that... I mean, it's something, you know, you can't find just anywhere. And it's something that you have to buy a brand new one to get one nicer. $49.9 is the haggle-free firm price. I'm trying to be difficult, guys, but where are you going to find one for less? You can't. I'll look. There's not any on RV Trader less than this. Not even close to this price. I think there was one for fifty eight dollars or $59,000 on there that didn't have the auto level, didn't have the... I think it may have had the electric refrigerator, but it didn't have the auto level. And there's not no telling what kind of fees they charge because I don't charge fees besides sales tax. Forty nine nine plus applicable sales tax. That's it. Easy, simple, and done. If you want delivery service, dollar fifty a loaded mile one way. That's a bargain. We don't even charge you for the return trip. If you're in all oh, the uh, extra awning is an option. It only comes standard with one awning. This one's got two. Um. But yeah. Check it out, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Even if this is not what you're looking for out of your price range, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And yes, guys, I will be doing some more affordable travel trailers. Don't worry. I, I try to take care of everybody. Within reason, obviously, I'm not going to put something out here that's, you know, with the roof falling in and, you know, uh, you step through the floor or something like that, you know, just because it's a few thousand dollars, you know, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to post anything like that or have anything like that for selling my lot but um but this if you want the the best used camper for the money can buy and used and not want to buy new this is it front kitchen sleeps forward um wow thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it and smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video sorry i've been trying three hours to get out here to do this it's been a crazy Saturday. Um, 
I've probably been talk. I, I talked to three sets of customers in here while I was taking pictures for probably an hour, uh, just chit chatting, looking at campers. So I finally had to. Uh, finally, everybody left, so I got a chance to do this video. We got a little slow spot on a Saturday, so of course I say that, and I walk outside. There'll be 20 cars back on the lot again. <laughs> so come out visit with us, guys. We're open today, 9 to 5 Eastern Time, closed Sunday for the Lord's Day and Family Day for our employees, and open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6 Eastern Time. We have a variety of used RVs. We trade for just about anything of value. We have nationwide delivery, $1.50 a mile, financing available with approved credit. And guys, I don't get impressed by travel trailers very much, but this one has definitely, definitely impressed me. Um, those of you that want a fifth wheel like quality but you don't want to tear up your truck bed and put a hitch in your truck bed and all that stuff this is a very very good alternative uh, to a fifth wheel but still get that quality that high roof the the insulation the amenities of a fifth wheel in a tra in an easier to tow travel trailer package so thank you so much for watching i appreciate it hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share on social media uh, financing available with approved credit and down payment we have no dock fees no prep fees none of that junk which is all 100 percent dealer profit we have financing available with approved credit and down payment with no dealer interest rate markups so not only are we save you ten thousand plus dollars on the price plus thousands of dollars in fees that other dealers charge that we don't we're going to save you thousands on financing because we don't mark rates up like other dealers do that's why we've been in business since 1968 that's why this little lot right here sells five to six hundred used rvs a year we sold 14 or 15 this week on a, and we were closed monday on a five-day week we sold three a day with gas four something dollars a gallon down here and mostly motorhomes <laughs> crazy world guys crazy business crazy market i ain't never seen nothing like it thanks again for watching i look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia